tonight. Tristan practices counting. There's three above art gallery. Four. I go clubbing. And two out of three ain't bad. Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays where today we're playing some more Manhunt Checkpoint. Yes, and we're doing something a little bit different today because we've, uh, we've we've had an idea of a different way to for the uh, for the hunters to do their tracking. So instead of using the any of the circle methods that we normally have, this time we've got because we've got quite a lot of hunters today. We've put one of them in a helicopter, and he's got a map a blip on his map showing where I am, so he can always find me without any difficulties. And the idea is that he's going to fly somewhere near me in a helicopter, <clears throat> and just always be somewhere vaguely nearby. And that means the hunters will then, the rest of the hunters, he's not allowed to talk to them because that would make it too easy. The rest of the hunters will then try and find the helicopter that's flying around in the city. And then find, and then they'll know that I'm somewhere near that. So so the, uh, the idea is that I will always be visible to the helicopter. And so they won't have, a, so they, it'll give them an idea of roughly where to search. This could be, this is going to be quite interesting because if I'm sitting still at uh, traffic lights like this, well actually we've still got the problem of lots and lots of traffic turning up and look and, and, and being all around me, which is a bit, bit of a bit of an issue. Um, that, that, that problem is still there, but oh, let's try and get away from some bit because I've got a fast car and I'll run this red light for the same reason. Ooh. Um, yeah, so if I'm, if I'm moving relatively slowly, then the helicopter will probably just sort of do circles nearby and or fly fly or fly somewhere nearby just to, to not make it too obvious exactly where I am. It won't fly circles round and round me because that would make it really obvious where I was for the hunters and we don't want that. However, if I'm driving f if I'm going fast covering a lot of ground, maybe I'm on the maybe on a highway or maybe just running across the city, then it'll be a lot more obvious to the hunters where I'm going because the helicopter will be heading in that direction as well trying to keep up. And the helicopter will probably be able to keep up without too much difficulty because it'll be significantly faster than most of the cars. But it'll be um, it'll be giving the uh, the hunters a very good idea of where I am. There's a lot of bikes around here at the moment. That's interesting. So, I think most a lot of the driving is going to be more or less normal sort of rules for, for the way I play this game. Um, so trying not to get caught up in too much traffic, trying to just sort of cover ground at an appropriate speed but not go too quickly because that looks suspicious and gets me gets me caught. This car is very twitchy. Um, and so yeah, just my normal sort of trying to stay subtle and trying to stay trying to stay unnoticed. I have said I'm not going to take the first checkpoint until after I've seen a helicopter buzzing around near me, and there it is up there. I think Ooh, green light. I think that's probably the hunter helicopter. And so you can see you can see what I mean about it not being right over me all the time. It's just, it's a reasonable distance away, but he's going to have worked out which car is me, and so he's going to just be sort of up there, flitting around a little bit, giving the hunters an idea of roughly where I am in the city. So the hope is that they're going we reckon that the, the the visibility range of the helicopter is probably going to be roughly comparable to the sort of size the circle normally is. So the hunters will have this idea that I'm appro of approximately where I am but without having too much too much detail. So the question is, actually the question at the moment is have, how many of the hunters have spotted the helicopter and of course as soon as one of them spots it they'll say hey everyone the, the helicopter's over the casino at the moment and they'll all head over that way and then start sort of exploring round away from it. And what's probably going to be quite interesting about this is the hunters don't have a, really have a feel for how big an area a helicopter can see at the moment. So they're going to start, so they will, they'll probably start very very close to the helicopter and then gradually work work their way outwards from it and sort of trying to trying to sort of explore a, a larger and larger area to try and find me so I think time is sort of going quickly is, is definitely going to be on my side because if I move right if I move reasonably quickly it doesn't give them as much time to learn about where it, about learn this new game mode before I've potentially taken a num large number of the checkpoints so one of the things that um, often happens in these sort of games, when we've played in the past, when we've played with aircraft, we've we've said that um, the, the aircraft have been being used by the hunters as actual spotters, so they'll be reporting back to the hunters. That's not the case this time. The air, there is there is no way for me to lose the helicopter because Max has me on has me as a blip on his map, so he always knows exactly where I am, and he's not going to have any trouble following me. 
Um, there he is still up there, see. Um, so if I go under overpasses, I'm not going to sort of dive around, dart around underneath them, trying to trying to trying to lose the helicopter or anything like that. I'm only worried about losing the cars because they they will be they will be the ones who are actually looking for me and the ones who will do do, do the actual attacking and so on. The helicopter is the, is I mean it is a threat. If I did actually manage to lose it, then that would be amazing and very very useful because then the hunters would, would have no chance of ever catching me. But that's not going to happen. The hunter, I'm not going to be able to lose the helicopter because it's it knows it knows where I'm going. It knows sorry it knows where I'm it knows where exactly where I am. I'm on its map. So get yeah, run the red light. Okay. So he's interestingly if he's if he's always sort of following half a mile behind me that. Well, I don't know. I don't know whether that'll make it easier or harder for the hunters. Um, whether, where, or whether it will compare to if he was sort of doing, sort of just generally staying in the gen staying in the area. I mean, is he? Oh, there's two two helicopters up there now. That's really going to confuse them. So I guess it's up to the hunters to try and work out. Is that Pete? I think that might have been Pete. Um, up to the hunters to try and work out which of the helicopters is Max and which one is the um, <laughs> which one's an AI. Now I think it's probably going to be fairly obvious because Max's is the one that's just sort of hovering there suspiciously, whereas the AI ones are sort of trying to get places and they, they tend to move a bit more, but they don't move particularly quickly. So yeah, we shall see. I think this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, we shall see how, see how it goes. So I am quite obviously heading south down the city. So I am heading towards oil fields almost by the most direct route um, and oil fields is one of those checkpoints that's quite out of the way on the is it's right out on the edge it's not in the middle of the city like um, or in, in the middle of surrounded by lots of other bits of city essentially is what I'm trying to say like a lot of the other ones are so if they work out I'm down in this sort of area it's going to be fairly obvious to them that I'm going for the oil fields checkpoint so I'm going to move a bit quicker at this point I think and try and get get up to it and take it without before they get a chance to come over and realise exactly where I am. <clears throat> so here we are, here it is. One checkpoint taken. Right, let's... Now, they're prob... I don't know whether they're going to guess which one I've taken. They probably are. <clears throat> In which case, any cars that are leaving this area are going to be considered very, very suspicious. So, I'm going to try and get far enough away that they can't be they can't be worrying about every single car in that area as, 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 as basically as quickly as I can and I think I've done that now I think I, I feel like I'm, um, I'm I'm suitably away so and now I'm just waiting for to be told where the next checkpoint is I feel like I should have a look around and try and spot the helicopter again I'm going to be I'm going to be being a little bit obsessive about this I think just trying to keep an eye on it and work out where it is and what's going on. So let's join this queue of cars. I know that's not great, but I oh, was still up there, still off to the north. Okay. So he seems to be hanging around north of me quite a lot. Oh no, unless it's that helicopter. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't him. <laughs> oh, so if I'm having trouble working out which helicopter it is, the hunters are going to have even more trouble. Well, there's Mark at accosting that whatever that is in front of me. I can tell it's him because he's got an offensive green police car. Um, so yeah, the hunters are still doing their recolor their car in their hunter color thing, so they're so they're identifiable, um, and that is obviously yeah, obviously Mark because of the, the green. <laughs> Has he gone away? I think he's gone away. Okay, that's quite good. Right there, are, but I'm ending up in a lot of, with a lot of cars around me again. I don't like this. Airport loop exit again. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. Airport loop exit is a difficult one to take. However. Hopefully this whole um, helicopter thing is going to make it a bit easier because the hunters won't be quite as close to me. That's my hope anyway because airport loop exit is a pain to take. It's sort of it's awkward and fiddly because it like bit like it's like oil field. We know I, earlier I was saying oil fields is sort of a slightly tricky one because it's kind of all the way off in the middle of nowhere, um, off on the an extreme edge of the play area. Um, so if they if they find if they know that I'm anywhere near that area, then they know exactly what checkpoint I'm going for. Airport loop exit is like that, but even more so. It's way off on the edge of the city. It is, it's in fact not only is it on the edge of the city, on the edge of the play area, it's also down a sort of a, uh, or pretty much a, a a dead end route. There's nowhere if if you go down into the into the um, airport, there is nothing else. I could there's nowhere else I could be going if I'm down there. So if the hunters work out that I've gone into the um, into the airport, there is only one on one checkpoint I could be going for. They'll be all over it and guarding it very very carefully. So 
we shall uh, I shall have to try and get try and have to try and sneak in there reasonably quickly and try and get it and get get out before anything before they start doing anything there you can actually see it over there through the fog that's interesting but it's quite a long way to get there try and actually follow the road I think you have to come off here to get into the airport let's try not to get lost on my way through the spaghetti it's not airport spaghetti that's the other one in this sort of vague area which is a much easier one to take oh there's Ed I think he's a bit suspicious. I'm going to um, assume I've been spotted and try and get out of here. So interestingly, that sort of goes to show that um, the the helicopter mode is apparently is does not make it. Can I get over the wall? I can't get over the wall. Ah. Um, the helicopter mode does not make it too difficult for the hunters to um, for the hunters to find me. Uh, as has been just been demonstrated by Ed, you know, finding me. So that's probably a, I mean that's 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 good because if they, if they never manage to find me it make a boring video and a boring game mode. Can I get over this wall? Oh, I just about can. What is going on? There we go. I'm over. Let's get out of here. Right. So I need to now lose my tail. I think I might. I feel like I possibly have lost my tail already. Can I, oh, learn to drive, Lawrence. Break before you. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh dear. Um, See, so yeah, what I was planning to do was pull out, put put it across into this car park, try and hide in the car park, and then maybe change cars if I um, if the hiding part worked. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> it doesn't seem to have worked very well. So a bit of getting out of here is now required. This is the point where, in a normal game mode, I would turn off the circle uh, to help me get away, or to, 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 to mean that once I did get away, the hunters wouldn't then be able to immediately find me again. Um, I can't turn off the helicopter. <laughs> That's not how this works. I could try and outrun it, but I suspect I don't know what helicopter Max has been given. But I suspect whatever it is, it's probably going to be quicker than my car. Even though I'm in a um, fuselade, I suspect it's still going to be quicker. The fuselade, however, is not is, is appears to be a bit quicker than the um, whatever it was Ed was driving. I didn't really see. Uh, it looked like a coupe though. So he's got he's got about as fast a car, he's got as fast a car as he's allowed. But probably I've got a faster car than he has. Mine is a little bit beaten up though, partly because of my driving, and partly because of Ed's driving. <laughs> um, so that will have that will have robbed me of a little bit of performance. But I think most of my performance should only can't go through those. Ah, uh, I know you can go through some of these sort of car parky things, but obviously not all of them. Right. Okay. I seem to have lost him. So I think now it's time to change cars. Yeah, a little glance backwards like that shows makes me think of I'm I'm, I'm free. Let's let's go for another fuse fuse laid. It's a slightly different colour and it's a bit less beat up. I don't know if they'll expect that or not. Ooh, that bike went through very quickly. I think that was probably Pete. <clears throat> now, switching from one fuse laid to another, especially when they're such similar colours, is possibly a, a trifle unwise. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether this is a good tactic or not, <laughs> because. It's a very, very similar car, but, I mean, they'll know that the other one's got beaten up a little bit. Yeah, I, mean, I, I managed to get past Mark there without him reacting. Okay, right, let's keep, let's keep going then. Let's head back down to the airport. Now, this is going to make this even harder because they caught me... Well, Ed caught me approaching airport, so he might think I am going was going for airport spaghetti, or maybe I was coming over to beach or something like that, if I'm really lucky. Or they might have guessed that I was actually going for the airport, airport loop exit one. And if they've worked out that I'm going for airport loop exit, then by the, they'll have realised they've lost me by now. So they may well head down there and set up some sort of welcoming committee. Where's my, where's my um, guardian helicopter? There it is. Oh, it's quite a long way behind, actually. If the helicopter's all the way back there, I might have a chance of getting round to the um, airport loop exit checkpoint and taking it before the hunters realise that I've actually got come quite this far down. So as I was saying at the beginning, if I if I hoon across the city, which I, to be honest I kind of have, I, I moved pretty quickly from the um, um, uh, after after, uh, after I after I switched to this car, then the helicopter is also going to have to move across the city pretty quickly. There's two of them there now and again. I don't know which one's mine. <laughs> um, the helicopter is also going to have to move across the city pretty quickly, and that's going to make it a bit obvious that I'm doing that I'm doing a run for the checkpoint. So I'm just going to hope. I'm going to hope I can drive a bit better than that, for one thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to hope that I can grab it and escape before they uh, before they get down here and realise. 
Um, and I will continue to drive reasonably slowly and sensibly along here. Again, that'll mean the helicopter can just bimble around doing its own thing a little bit more as, a, as it, um, whatever it wants. But it also means that the um, the hunters will, um, if they see me, will hopefully not be too suspicious. And I'm still not sure whether... Oh, haha! <laughs> um, Tristan and Pete have just killed each other. Uh, Tristan has... No, Tristan killed Pete. That's what happened there. Um, and was killed in retribution. Auto automated retribution for it. All right, here's a checkpoint. That's a checkpoint taken. Let's leave here slowly and calmly. Boom. That police car there is worrying me slightly. Um, I, I wondered if that was a hunter, but I think it, it's either an abandoned vehicle or I couldn't see any obvious colour on it. So maybe it was just maybe it was actually just a police, just a natural police car that spawns in a weird place, or got booted into a weird place during the uh, earlier shenanigans. I, I don't know. But then an AI car should despawn. It's only only cars that have been used by players that don't de that, that stay permanently, I believe. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Yeah, if every if every car that had been rammed um, ended up staying there forever, we'd 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 always there'd, there'd be there'd be cars everywhere, and we'd run into the GTA has run out of space for cars and its memory problem a bit more often. <laughs> so we can't. We're obviously not doing that. Let's ignore the stop sign. <clears throat> okay, so square of squares. That's I mean that's flat bang in the middle of the city. It's an easy one to get to. It's it's a bit of a drive from here, but then as I was saying, I'm stuck way out on a limb in the dist most distant corner of the. Um, the city pretty much so anywhere is going to be a bit of a drive from there unless i happen to get air, uh, airport loop exit and then airport spaghetti in quick succession and uh, i don't think i'm going to be that lucky twice in a row <laughs> it is nice when a checkpoint pops in and it's really really close by i feel it the only thing is I, f I feel slightly bad about taking them in really quick succession although there has to be at least the absolute minimum of course is about 30 seconds between them because it doesn't tell me about the next one for those 30 seconds so i'm never going to be able to um take two two faster than that but when i yeah but when one does appear right in front of me it seems a little mean on the hunters to grab it straight away but then they they win often enough that i don't feel that bad about it <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so dri driving through ghetto in the, in the um, in a fuselade is, I don't know, it's not the most subtle of of, of um, vehicles to be using for it. I can't see the helicopter, um, because the sports cars like this don't tend to spawn in the ghetto. But that said, um, never mind. It, I don't think the hunters pay that much attention to car models. Um, I could be wrong. They might they might be um, they might be starting to learn. There it is. There's there's the. Um, my little buzzing nightmare. <laughs> Just sitting up there pirouetting gently. I suppose the advantage, if he's pirouetting like that, it makes it obvious which one is the um, is the player helicopter to the hunters. So that's probably a good thing, really. Um, and also, it means he's he's not he doesn't he won't accidentally end up pointing at me because he's looking at me. So it's pro probably a good thing to be doing that for a couple of reasons. Right, okay, the light's gone green. I won't. I won't try and barge past. Oh, that's handy. If, that, if those cars are both turning right, then that means I'm not in that cloud of cars anymore. So that's good. Square, squares. Okay, so if I follow this road up all the way up until it splits, so I'll need to be in this lane. Follow the road all the way up until it splits, and then take the left-hand one. That'll basically take me straight up to the checkpoint. So this is going to be fairly easy. And because the hunters don't know where the checkpoints are. <clears throat> They can't sit sit on them and guard them, which is the reason we don't we don't we don't tell them where they are, um, and it doesn't really matter if I'm driving straight towards one, because because yeah, it's just me going across the city. It could be it could mean anything. I do get the feeling that they are. It feels like they are struggling a bit with the um, helicopter. It's over there now. Okay, it feels like they're struggling a little bit with the helicopter thing, um, because well because I haven't seen them very much. It's even when I was going out for the uh, for the airport loop exit, but that said, I have been in one chase or already, and I'm only on the third checkpoint. So, I, yeah, I think it's it's probably okay. We shall we shall see how it goes with green light. Trying to drive slowly and calmly and sensibly. I know I often say that I'm pretty sure that for sort of sake of trying to stay alive. I should drive a bit more aggressively. But when I think there's a fairly good chance the hunters have no idea where I am, 
driving a bit slower and more carefully seems seems sensible, I guess. So I am tending to I'm obeying the traffic laws a little bit more than I normally do, obeying red lights and things like that. Although I will continue to um, to run them if I need to in order to get out of the big bu big bunch of cloud big cloud of cars, as I say. Oh, there he is up there. So he is now, as you can see, he's sort of gradually following me. So as I'm moving north across the city, so is he. But he's quite a long way out east of me. Is he still due east? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but he's not getting he's not getting too close, but also not too far away. So yeah, it gives the it gives them a it gives them some information, but not too much. In fact, you, yeah, I think you could probably almost draw an imaginary circle centered on him. Um, in fact, I wonder if the hunters have found somebody to shoot. It's not me, so I'm happy with that. But they found somebody to shoot at least. <laughs> And this is loads of panicking. Oh, no, that's, the wrong, that's not my green light. I was looking over there and the lights went green. I nearly went. But no, I need to be waiting for those lights over there. That's how this works. Yes. <laughs> oh, this might be my turn. Yes, it is. Alright. There's Mike being. A bit sus. Oh, and Mark as well. Still in his police car. <laughs> Not much of that. There's Ed. Um, arriving in style. Oh, there's a green light. Let's go. I think I gave myself away with that dodge. Alright, I'm not going to take the checkpoint. In the hope that maybe Mark will think it wasn't me. I don't think he meant to get out of his car then, but maybe if the checkpoint doesn't go, they won't. Th they'll think it wasn't actually me, and they're following the wrong person. Nope, he's still following me. Oh no, maybe he isn't. Maybe that bluff worked. <clears throat> now I think. Can I? How can, what can I? What can I do from here? Oh, I can't get back to square squares very easily from here. Oh, there's Mark again. Yeah, okay. I think he's pretty sure he's found me. So, I guess we're chasing again. <laughs> um, right, let's uh, not let's not be here. So, what's my best way of escape? So, escaping, I don't have to, as I say, say before, I don't have to worry about the circle giving me away because that isn't isn't there. The helicopter doesn't give me doesn't give too much information away to the hunters. So, I think just sort of flooring it around the city a bit is probably going to be my best method of escaping. Maybe like that. Um, that's two of the hunters behind me. I see. I see an orange headlight. So that's a Mike. Um, Mike does often mock me for doing lots of sort of big, long, straight lines. But I think perhaps when I'm in a car that's a class better than his, he'll um, be forgiving. Is the wrong word. Let's just let's get through at high speed. There we go. Um, yes, forgiving is definitely the wrong word. But he'll be he'll understand why I'm just putting my foot down because I've got a faster car. I've gone the wrong way. I've spun around. Let's turn around and go back again. Did they overshoot me? They did. Nice. <laughs> um, oh no, there's one of them on me. How many? Is that another police car? Is that Ed, Ed in a police car as well? <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> we could we could have an all police car run. That could be interesting. Uh, and there's no reason why they shouldn't. But there's no. The hunters are perfectly within. Are perfectly allowed to drive police cars. I, I have no problem with that. I'm allowed to drive police cars if I want. Um, although I probably wouldn't. They're a little bit too ostentatious and, and noisy and yeah. I'm quite impressed that my um, accidental spin and then going in the opposite direction worked on well two of the hunters, maybe three of the hunters. And um, but I don't think I can. <laughs> I can't really claim it was deliberate. I don't think. It, although it was making it was it was what we call I think I called making the best of a bad situation where I'd spun and then. Um, Let's go into red car park. Red car. Oh, I said into red car. Fine. Apparently I'm going down. Oh no, there isn't a way through here. What's that white car doing there? Let's try it into red car park again, shall we? See if it goes a little better for me this time. There we go. There's no cars here. My hope was to drop in here, hide around the corner, which sometimes works, and then switch into another car and have something else to leave in. That hasn't worked, uh, so I guess let's have a look upstairs, see if, I can, see if I can find another car in here. There's something, what's that? Is that, that's a um, 
It's a Futo, isn't it? Slightly hard to tell in the dark. Let's take it anyway. Yes, a Futo. Okay. It's not ideal. Um, partly because it's broken. Partly because it's a Futo. But uh, actually, a Futo, again, it's, it's a sports car. It's sort of, it's okay. It's got... Nice acceleration. It's quite nippy. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Right, here we go. On the way out. Back into traffic. Is that the that's, that's the fuse laid I was using first? I think. <laughs> I obviously, change cars around here a lot. All right. Okay, here we go. Got away from the hunters. Red, green light. That's nice. Actually, actually, a well-timed green light for once makes a change. Pull up behind that bus. I was going to have a look around to see if I could see the helicopter, but um, I'm under the, I'm under a higher lower now, so I'm not going to have much chance of that because, <laughs> well, it's in the air and I wouldn't be able to see it. Do I want? I think I want the middle lane here for going straight on. Probably. Yeah, seems right. Or correct. Now, I wonder is this going to be harder for the hunters now? Oh no, there's, there's lights on the helicopter, so they'd probably still be able to see it without too much difficulty. I. Mark. So he's in. I'm seeing. I feel like I'm seeing Mark quite a lot. Um, and he's. Well, last time he did a good job of spotting me. This time I was um, a little bit. Uh, a little bit more stealthy, I suppose. Uh, he didn't spot me anyway, so that's. Um, that's the main thing. All right. Here we go. Number three. Yeah. Let's turn left. Let's turn left here, even though there's a red light, and just take the checkpoint and get moving a little bit. Explode. Now, what's the best way? To... Let's go this way. Because it breaks line of sight from between me and the checkpoint, which I think is quite important. Who left that car in the middle of the road? Is that an oracle? Yes, it is an oracle. Who left the oracle there? Disgraceful. I can hear sirens again. No, oh, there's Mark. It's not Mark. It wasn't Mark with the siren on that time then. Okay. <sighs> right. Oh, there's Tristan again. So I'll just hide behind this van. That's probably going to work quite well for me. Hills Crosser. Okay. Hills Crosser. That's a bit of a, a bit of a drive from here, but not too bad. Now, what's the best way to take this going to be? Um. Let's see. I'm thinking I could head. Hmm. I could head all the way across the city and then come back again through the hills from the other end. That might be quite sneaky. Um, or I could just head up straight into the hills from through through Vinewood. Just do it the obvious way. Because, again, they don't know where I'm going. They don't know that I've got Hills Crossroad as my next uh, checkpoint. So I could probably just head straight towards it. And just run up to just go up to it and take it. And as soon as I go into the hills, they're going to suspect that I'm going for the Hills Cross. Well, as soon as they realize I'm in the hills, they're going to be pretty sure I'm going for the Hills Crossroad checkpoint because it's the only one up there. But they won't actually be sure that I'm in the hills, especially if Max is being sort of on my side, in inverted commas, because he's going to... Because um, he could he could fly, flit around just sort of in, in the Vinewood area and probably see all the way up into the hills. He doesn't need to actually go as far as I've gone. So I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't know how kind, how, how deliberately nice he's going to be trying to be to me. Um, I know he's. He said he's sort of somewhat on the on the praise side at least. So, but I don't, but it remains to be seen just sort of how much, how much, how on my side he mean he um, he means by that. But well, I guess we'll see if this ever goes green. Should I switch to another fuselade? I do quite like the fuselade. Let's do that. <laughs> I'll see if I can do. Uh, I can't do an all fuselade run because I, 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 did, I, I took the um, the Futo for the um, <laughs> for the previous checkpoint. But yeah, I can I can do a mostly fuselade run. That's. Uh, I think it's fun to set myself sort of random little challenges like that, or at least it would be if I was. Um, if I, if I was always winning then, or winning most of the time, then I think it'd be fun to set random other challenges. In fact, maybe we should, maybe we should make a list of sort of little little challenges like um, 
only use one type of car and or only use cars of a, one particular color or things things like that uh, to give me extra um, little things to play around with to keep things interesting uh, now of course the hunters would have to wouldn't be allowed to know what the um, there's a helicopter over there. It's flying right over me. Okay. Um, moving quite quickly. I can't see it now. Um, yeah, the hunters wouldn't know what it, what my challenge was for any of these particular uh, uh, any particular run. I choose it sort of somewhat uh, pseudo randomly before when I when I start and then just go for it. Um, green light. Don't you dare. Okay, it's not good. Um, yeah, so, that's, so but it would give me something else to play around with, something else to give me a little bit of a challenge, and and they, I could offer them sort of bonus kudos if they um, if they managed to work out what my uh, what my secret objective was during the run. That might be quite fun. I think I have to think about have a, have a think about that. Come up with lots of um, lots of ideas, and maybe get the um, the hunters to, to to suggest ideas as well. Because I've got a big long enough list of them. It doesn't matter if they know what they all are. In kind of in the same way that. <clears throat> It doesn't matter that they know where all of the checkpoints are, because they don't know which one I'm trying to get to. Alright, so I'm getting gradually up into the hills now. The, the crossroads is, is quite a lot further over to the west, so I'm going to take a left turn here and head a bit more over that way, because I don't want to be... Um, I don't want to go up into the hills too soon. Oh, there he is. He's quite close at the moment. Um, but then that's good in a way, because you don't want. To, if if he was always trying to keep me sort of on the edge of his view, then that would mean I'd essentially the the hunters would theoretically know that I was always going to be quite a long way from the helicopter. If that makes sense, it's a bit like if 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 he was sort of following kind of if he was using the if he was moving the circle around manually, then he'd always know that I was sort of on the edge of the circle um, but he's, he's hopefully not doing that he's keeping it so that I could be anywhere inside it and just trying to do it somewhat randomly uh, perhaps I don't know I'm not sure I, I mean I know he's trying to keep me in view but I don't know exactly how he's planning to how he's what what's his plans are how he's thinking it, how he's thinking it through I can hear a siren oh that's Pete having a moment Pete is definitely very interested in this car, even though I've honked at him. Nope, he's getting out. That means he's probably identified me. I'm going to wiggle a little bit in case he starts shooting. Nope, I think he's got back in the car now. Okay, right. So, um, so much for trying to get up to that checkpoint. I got spotted because it was the thing I was talking about earlier about if you if you if you sit still for longer, I feel like you you become a bit easier to find. Or at least you become more likely to be found because the hunters then start to, rather than spending all of their time and effort trying to get from wherever they are to wherever they uh, to, to to the new area that the that the prey is in. So if they're trying, if I keep moving, they know that they, they have to get spend all their efforts on trying to just get around the city. So, Mike's in a police car now as well. Crikey. Um, oh, car. Um, yeah. So instead of spending their efforts trying to get around the city, they can then just sort of start hunting around in a, in a small specific small area which means I think I feel like it means they're more likely to be able to find me so yeah sitting around at those red traffic lights was oh don't drive into walls Lawrence I've told you about this and maybe that wasn't Mike maybe it was either oh no <laughs> they are both driving yeah both the um both the citrus boys are driving um police cars no he's got my tire oh no I'm in probably in trouble I'm also on my side that's bad did you get my yes he did get a tire oh no <clears throat> okay, getting away is going to be very, very difficult now. I haven't had to de haven't had to deal with a shot out tire for a while. They've normally been previously they've just been getting my head quite a lot, or I've been driving sedan so the the shooting out a tire thing doesn't work. This is, but yeah, you see that car gets very, very slidey like that when I've and then when I get rammed, um, it jumps around. It, the car just spins very, very easily. So um, the best option at this point is probably to try not to steer very much. And when I do steer, steer very gently and gingerly like that. And then try and find some long straight rows. No, bad comet. Get out of the way. Um, yeah, try and find some long straight rows. I don't want to go this way. This is not long straight rows. Actually, if I turn right at the end... Uh, this isn't ideal. 
getting away with a missing tyre is tricksy. And that's the downside of driving a sports car. So if I drive if I drive um, a worse than coupe cars, which is possibly muscle cars, I can't remember, but certainly sedans, um, compacts and so on, then I get um, bulletproof tyres for, for in the car, which helps a lot when the hunters start shooting at me. Because I'm driving a sports car, I don't get, at the moment, I don't get those bulletproof tyres, so I'm just having to um, do my best with, I uh, have to try and get try and get away with, just, they're, they're actually catching up. Oh no. I thought, I was hoping that the fuse lady, even with its missing tyres, would still be faster than the, the, the cars of lower classes that they're driving. Oh, they're shooting at me again. That's, oh. No, I found, found a wall. I'm trying to duck. It's going okay. No, I think I think this is it. I think I'm yeah. I'm pinned now. I'm I'm dead. Oh. <sighs> well, that was interesting. Um, I have to find out what the hunters thought of the helicopter system. I have a motorbike on a dance floor. How's that for your YouTube videos? Let me find a way out of this place now. Doors, doors, hey, outside world. Heading west over spaghetti. I found him accidentally. I think. Whereabouts? Uh, he's on airport spaghetti heading south at speed to Into LSIA. Apple. Yes, upper upper LSIA. I f I can't be sure, but he sure is driving like a loon. Yep, that's him. Nobody does that. He's still at the upper LSIA, heading around the loop. The wrong way, I might add. Yeah, it's gonna be him then. He's in a you... white fuselade. Oh, I lost eyes because I hit a civilian. Look for a white fuselade. Is that you coming down from above? Yes. Hello. Uh, so he's eyes on. Uh, there. Airport exit. Passing through airport loop checkpoint now. He's crashed, he's crashed, he's crashed. Keep bouncing, keep bouncing him. Sorry. But sorry, I couldn't get he's it on track. Sorry. Right. Uh, he's going through the car park, heading towards Los Santos Customs. Road towards Los yeah. Santos Customs. Palm trees, yours, Ed? Palm trees, what? Commentary. Uh, commentary. Same way oh, he's doing. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, he's still going past. He, well, he's still on the road, heading away from. heading uh, east from the um, car shop. Uh, he's still heading east on that same road at speed. He's in a white fuselade. Okay, no, he's north. almost at the helipad, north helipad now. Past the Chinese noodle shop uh, towards construction, the little, the little red construction. He's very fast. Um, I can catch up. I might be able to help there. Uh, he just drove right at Caesar's car park, and he's headed towards the red car park. He's now headed towards Square of Squares, and I'm losing sight of him. Oh my god. Okay. He's li likely to follow his super tactical strategy of just driving in a straight line for a long time. So we've probably got until Square of Squares. Yeah. Not guaranteed, but... I'm going to turn right here in case he turns right. Found a white fuse lead, but it wasn't him.
There's three above Art Gallery. Four. Square square checkpoint. Heading north. Ah, wrong button. Helicopter's roughly over Square Square's checkpoint now. Helicopter's heading northwest quite quickly by the IAA building. Heading northwest from there. Just southeast of uh, uh, construction site by shopping centre. Heading south. And now west. I might have him, yeah. Uh, higher lower on Acadia's dock leg, heading uh, to shopping yeah, centre. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Yep, that's him. Uh, towards shopping centre, east side of shopping centre, heading north. Is it a fuselade, I think it is? Uh, yes, grey, white fuselade. Uh, heading uh, east from shopping centre jump. Yeah, Tristan, this one. Still heading east. Are you left? Okay. I'm almost certainly going to have been at no eyes. No eyes. I'm going north. Oh, oh, fuselade, okay. What no. colour was it? Uh, wow. Grey. Okay. Yeah, light grey, white. Yeah. I, was, I got him, I think. Or about? Uh, heading back to shopping center, one road up. Okay. He's running like that. Yep. That's the sort of thing Lawrence does. Yep. He's at the shopping center now, going still uh, west. Oh, gosh. Uh, helicopter is going west at speed. Yep. He's at the shopping center still, going south. Going through shopping center. Yep. I see you. I'm with you. All right. Uh, On your left. Going okay, five ways ish. Okay, south at five, please. Ah! Woo! Ah! Traffic! Uh, we may have lost him. Okay. Still heading south, uh, right towards the bottom, I think. Uh -huh. But he's way in the distance. There's a car park near here, see if he's trying to change cars, he likes to do that. Size because there's too many buildings. Um, about shopping center height, but one rolled up. Oh.
Still continuing. I west. think I might have him. Uh, heading west at speed, one road down from Boulevard, um, in a dark coloured, some sort of sports car. Did you just turn left? Yeah, that's it. Yes, that's him. Uh, character model is a uh, middle-aged female, dark hair, dark shirt and white blouse. Turning right, Mark. Yeah. Uh, turning right, uh, north side of the uh, hospital. Towards uh, Five West. Yep. North from Five West. Heading north. North west I think. Three. Police cars. <laughs> yep. Gonna arrest the bagel. Uh, no. Turn left. Uh, straight on. That's how I get the following police cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just randomly following police cars with sirens on, and I've got no idea whether or not I should be. Oh, it turns out I should be. Yes, you should. Whereabouts? Uh,. Where the Epsilon Church, if you know where that is. Gun, yep. gun, gun. I've had some shots. They may or may not have helped. You got his tire. That's. I feel like I should congratulate you. Thank you. He's now above Epsilon Church, heading west. I don't uh, know where that is. Uh, Michael's house, towards west? Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm heading towards golf course. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, uh, Michael's house is that direction as well. Just, okay, south at golf course, heading towards Live Invader. <laughs> that was glorious. I I I want that sandboarded. Okay, it's south at uh, towards uh, five ways. South towards five ways. Oh, he's, he's he cannot I'll handle that car. Break that thing. Thing. Ah! I found a tree. <laughs> okay, we're now east at five ways. That's northwest, I believe. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, northwest. Yeah, I got. So, so interesting. I, I blame Ed for that because I suddenly turned I, east by compass. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I lower, accept blame. Heading east. Uh, lower car park. Something. On your left is the Epsilon Church. In case you ever need a reference. North side of shopping centre. He looks behind now. <laughs> There's at least three police cars with the signs on. Well, it does look like we're chasing Tristan. <laughs> He's sliding. He's spun. Turn. Getting out. No. Oh, Pete, man. Fine. For good. Pete. Pete, good. Where is he? Still here. Oh no, I'd be cheating. I got a shotgun out. Yeah, there was no way he was escaping that! <laughs> <laughs> I was slightly tempted to use the shotgun there, but then I, last second I thought no, I was cheating. That was my best pin in years. That was a good pin, I was very pinned. <laughs> <laughs>